Okay, it's gonna, it's hold gonna on. pop. Hold on, don't hit me with that thing. Okay. All right, well, it's really good news. John John McCain, yes. the word, word came in that he dead. We figured we'll have a little celebration. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the people of Syria are going to sleep well tonight. Well, I gotta be careful with that stuff. Uh, it's really, really good news. You know, one of the parts that's the funniest part is that everybody has to now create these lies about, you know, what a great man, you know, it's like people who hated his guts, like Trump, for example. What the hell is he going to say? He's probably going to be, you know, find some way to be a double about it, like say something that sounds complimentary at first and then like kind of... That under scrutiny yeah. could if, be... If you, if you interpret it a couple of ways, you I could be... So. I hope mean, so. I mean, I, I think he'll do the right thing. Like yeah. he's probably... I hope he's he doesn't got lay down and do what like no. CNN uh, CNN I, I saw when they were giving the news it was like Wolf Blitzer gets on there and, you know he's, sound, he's so full of shit you know I mean he's so he even sounds constipated he's like yeah. oh, um, well um, Donald Trump it was a, a, a terrible moment in American history when he called him not a hero you know it's like uh, you know why don't you just take it someday he's gonna take a shit he's gonna be like oh, oh I'm man. Wolf Blitzer <laughs> oh normal. Wolf Blitzer oh, oh wow normal. I found my real what I, what I just love about the hero name narrative is that uh, veterans hate this guy. He oh, single-handedly really? stood yeah. between uh, the Congress and passing this bill in 1992 that would have allowed them to go to Vietnam and get the rest of the prisoners of war who had still been over there. Mm. Didn't want any of this to happen. Single-handedly, uh. the entire rest of the Senate was voting for this bill and John McCain didn't, didn't want it. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm just stuck on the fact that I can't wait to read all of the lies. I mean, I already heard Michelle Obama's uh, lie about what a great man he was, you know. And, oh. so. Well, he supported all of her husband's wars. Of course she loved uh, him. Well, they're, they're two peas in a pod. I mean, you know, uh, but the, of course the women of Syria will be uh, much relieved. Yeah, they don't have to worry about quite as much about getting their legs blown off in their sleep. I mean, maybe still a little bit. I mean, there's some problems who are still around who unfortunately don't have brain tumors. But, you know, I mean, it's definitely, I think the, the Middle East is in markedly less danger now that this man has shuffled off this mortal coil and is now like unfortunately he's probably going to be reincarnated as something and then it's like we'll have some cockroach that's just running around like terrorizing the shit out of all the other cockroaches a total piece of shit you know the thing about it is <clears throat> you know, he's a total war hawk you know and yeah. the problem what the problem is is that when you label somebody a war hawk right there's, there's, there's no taboo about that at all it's like tell me something i don't already know about every single person in washington dc they're all war hawks so you well, know if you I'm, notice it's not even a pejorative term anymore that's what i'm saying yeah, it's people not, take it as a badge of honor that's right it's not pejorative I mean, it's not like you know you're a convicted rapist or a convicted you know pedophile or something you know child rape or something okay that's a deal killer but you're war hawk you know, yeah, people call Rachel Maddow is proud to call herself like a liberal hawk Pentagon, or a Pentagon, Pentagon liberal. Pentagon sorry. liberal, you know. I'm confusing her with somebody uh, else, but no, it's I, just it should be a, a, like a, a really bad thing to call somebody. Like you should be fighting words, but no, war hawk is a, well that that senator's a hawk. Yeah. That, so I, I, it's so it's so sad that that's a, a term that just uh, doesn't have any strength at all. But I, it's just really, really awesome that he died. And I, I sometimes just, there's you know, good news yeah. in life. I and mean, it, in this day and age, it's hard to find good news. Yeah. And, and my heart does happy. not go out to his family. I don't. No, his care family's a bunch about, of scumbags. Scumbag. I don't care about the survivors of him. I don't care about his memory. I don't care. He's. I only care about the what hundreds of thousands, millions of people whose lives have been destroyed by this man's. Uh, direct intervention and policies. He's a piece, a thorough piece of human shit. The world is much better off now that John McCain is dying. I'm sure that they'll I'm, be... I was just so happy for that yeah. brain tumor to finally accomplish. I was cheering yeah. it on all these months. I'm like, go tumor, go. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. Just get up that last hill. And that little tumor, God. it did. Yeah. It did what it, it did. Well, and then he made, you know, and, but here's what it is, too. They made, uh, of course, everybody's talking about his death in the context of, like, what Trump's reaction is going to be. <laughs> oh, okay, everything is Trump. Right? And the thing about it is, is that he specifically made a, said, a statement that he doesn't want Trump at his funeral. Okay, so then... If, so you know that Trump's now going to be criticized for not going, for not to, going to the funeral. Or it's going to be that when, it, it, you know, like, because like, it would be really great 
I would really love, I mean, Trump, it would get my, you know, I think he would like get a lot more credit if he just came out and said, look, I didn't like that guy. I'm glad he's dead. You know, if somebody would finally tell the fucking truth. I think, actually, man. I think we, I know what he might say. He'll say, well, I have all the respect for him that he had for me. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> because John yeah. McCain lost no opportunity to poke, oh, yeah, poke yeah, Trump yeah, no, he was keep, and just like, ca calling him a man. traitor for talking to Vladimir Putin because, you know, then he doesn't get his war in Russia. And you know, no. John McCain, uh, when yeah. everything in the world is is a all you have all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. I did that backwards, but uh, you know. Yeah. Well, all, all, uh, he everything they backwards. said what, about him was true. Like everything Trump said, like I, I actually prefer my heroes to not get caught. I mean, it, it kind of makes some sense. And furthermore, didn't he like rat out? I yeah, just, his you know. code name was Songbird. He made thirty-two separate recordings for the for the Vietnamese uh, denouncing the United States. And this guy is the hero. He wasn't even tortured. He sang. He wasn't tortured. He he, 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 he he sang like within seconds, according to the other prisoners. Yeah. As soon as they they brought him in, he had broken his arms falling out of the yeah. airplane. Because well, his daddy and, was an admiral, by the way, yeah. a big big time admiral. And he sang because he didn't want to get tortured. He was so scared that it just took him seconds to start blabbing and and yeah. to add insult to injury, he didn't even have anything to say that they needed. They didn't. Yeah. His information was useless. But they just made him make thirty two recordings. Well, listen. Uh, let's let's wrap this up. J John McCain, we know you're in hell. Let's just say goodbye. Bye, John. Bye, John down in hell. Bye, John, <laughs> Bye, John down Pete Ridge.